Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and we're talking again about iOS 17. Now this update is truly amazing. I never had this happen before. I've been using betas since iOS 7 and never had this happen where every time I use my device, I feel like I find out about a new feature. This is really, really cool and I have another 20 new features that you don't know about that I will show you guys in this video. Now before we're gonna talk about the new features, Apple just did release the second public beta of iOS 17, which is really great. And they also did a re-release of the beta 4. And both of these betas feature-wise will be the exact same as dev beta 4, which was released last week. So don't expect to see any changes there. Of course, the new changes should come next week with the fifth beta of iOS 17. And now let's get into the features. Now here's one that I really, really like. You know that on iOS 17, you can actually zoom on a photo and it will show you that crop button right there. So when you tap crop, it will crop the photo as it is like that. But do you know that you can actually do this and then tap and hold that button and it will show you this menu right here. Now what you can do from here is choose how you want to crop it. The original aspect ratio, widescreen, which is basically the wallpaper size or a square. So if I choose square right there, you can see now it disappears. Now it will stay like that. So when I tap on crop here, it will go straight to the square crop, which is really, really cool. Now that will stay like this. So whenever you want to change that, you will still have to do the same thing here. So tap and hold and choose whichever one you want. Now here's another really cool one. When you're marking up on iOS 17, if I use the markup tool here, and I add a shape, now I can add text to that shape. And that is very, very easy to do. So if I just add a shape here, all I have to do now is on the shape, just double tap, and you can go ahead and write here anything you want. It is as easy as that. You don't have to add the shape and then go ahead and add a piece of text and add it on the shape. You can just double tap on that shape and you can start just typing anything you need. And now let's move on to the weather app. On the weather app on iOS 17, when you go to the list of the cities, you can tap the three dots and you will find here, of course, Celsius, Fahrenheit. These are on iOS 16 as well, but you will also find units. Now you can go there and you can change other units. So you will have wind here, pressure and distance. You can go ahead and change the units that they use to actually measure those on your weather app. So if I want to go to distance here, I can just go ahead and tap there and switch between miles and kilometers just like that or wind, miles per hour, miles per hour, kilometers per hour, meters per second, anything you want here, you can go ahead and change them as easy as that directly from the weather app. Now here we have something new. We have the new stocks widget. So the symbols, they had just a, just a small version of the widget. Now you have the medium and you have also the big one as well, which is actually really, really cool. Now you can add any stock here that you want to view. It's interesting that even the big one will just show you one stock. You cannot have multiple of those just like Again, just like this one here, have two or three of those. You can just, again, of course, just tap there, edit widget, and just choose any stock that you have that you want to see there. And it's actually pretty, pretty cool, and it looks very nice. Something really cool on the, on the spotlight search of iOS 17, of course, Apple has made a lot of changes. You can now run shortcuts, and they will show just like this with these symbols here. It actually looks pretty nice. You can just search for shortcuts and it shows you some suggestions i believe what i'm seeing here are some of the widgets that i actually some of the shortcuts that i have recently used on my device those will be shown right there so of course you don't need to open the app or anything you can just run them from there you can see the shortcut works it will run straight from the spotlight search on the shortcuts app when you go to the main page of so the shortcuts section here you will have a section that says app shortcuts. Now here we'll find a bunch of different shortcuts from different apps. So if we go here, we can of course go ahead and create different shortcuts. You have here a few different apps that I have some pretty cool shortcuts that you can actually use directly from this section. Now here's one change that I really like within the settings app. If we go to settings here, general and go to iPhone storage. Now, if you're like me and you have a ton of different apps installed on your device, when you go here, and you actually try to go 
to the system data or to the iOS size here, you will have a long list to swipe through. Well, with iOS 17, you no longer have that problem because Apple has actually made this, this list shorter. It will show just the first few apps and then you will have the show all button to actually show all the other apps that you have on your device. Now, one thing I really like is that Apple is actually adding a lot of these suggestions here on the battery settings. And this is for auto lock. I know I've seen auto lock before. I've seen this suggestion before on the settings of the battery here, but I don't remember it being exactly the same, looking exactly the same. And now from here, all you have to do is just tap there. And I can actually go ahead and change to the auto lock feature directly from here. I don't have to go back and go to the auto lock section under display, but I can do it from here. Tab there and pick anything I want. And here's another really cool change on the spotlight search. If you search for music, it will show you a few different albums or playlists that you have on your music app. And what you can do from here is just tap one of them and it will start playing right away. As you can see right there on the dynamic island, it's currently playing in the background. And if I wanna switch to the other one, I can just tap there and it will switch to the other album or playlist as easy as that. As you probably know, with Safari on iOS 17, Apple has added a new profiles feature, which allows you to create different profiles for the tabs you're using on Safari. Well, now you can also choose which links open in which profile. So if I go to a website here, I can tap the AA button and go to the website settings. And right here, we have open links in profile. So if I tab there, I can choose my most recent profile or any of the, of the other profiles that I have created on my device. So if I just choose one of them, it will then just open the links from this website to that profile. We also have the new settings for this. So let's go to settings here, Safari. And then here we have the website settings. Here we have profiles. If we go here, we can see which links we have set up from which website to open to each profile. And we can of course tap there if we wanna change that setting. Now with iOS 17, of course, we got the new offline maps feature, which is really, really great. Now, what you can do with iOS 17 is also search for a city. And when I search here, you can see if I search in this case for Chicago, it will also show me the download button right there, which enables me to actually download that map without having to go into the map at all. Just from the search here, I can go ahead and download this for offline using. And we're back on the spotlight search and this time for the notes app. If I search for notes here, this is what I will see. Of course, the icon of the app from where I can go ahead and open the notes app, but it will also show me my two pinned notes. These are the notes that I have pinned on my notes app and my last note right there. This is really, really cool. I don't have to open the notes app. I can go directly into one of these notes that of course I use more frequently. I have the recent one there and the pinned ones which are more important right there. I can open them directly from the spotlight search. Now we have this feature for the clock app as well. So if I search for alarms, I can go ahead and add an alarm directly from the spotlight search. Just like that, create any alarm I want or even set a timer. So you don't open the time the clock app, you just tap there. You can set up everything directly from the spotlight search. And for the last couple of ones, we're moving to the notes app. This line right here, I don't know what this is, but it actually is right here. So if I just select this text, you will notice that when I go to format the text, when I go here, this has recently been added. I don't know what this is or why they have added this, but this is new with iOS 17. And I believe it might even be with iOS 17 beta 4 because I haven't noticed this before. Another thing here, if I go to the to the menu right there, tap on the three dots, you can see that now you will have a button to change the background of the note. So this will basically work vice versa. If I'm on the dark mode, it will show me the button to use the light mode only for the pages here on the notes app. And of course, if I'm on light mode, I can use dark mode only for the pages. So that will work only within notes. So it's actually pretty, pretty cool. Sometimes the notes are very, very bright if you're using them on the light mode and makes it very hard for you to actually focus and read the notes. So that's a great change. So that's basically it for this video, guys. iOS 17, again, is turning out to be an amazing update with a ton of new features. And as I said, every time I use my device for two months now since 
the first beta of iOS 17, I just find new features that are actually really, really cool and most of them actually very useful. So that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.